everybody it's melissa welcome back to the channel today as you can see we're here with part two of starting to reborn we've got realborn marnie asleep as you can see from the previous video we neutralized the vinyl so let's get started today we're going to be working on creasing the colors you're going to need include your vein blue again a red shade i'm using bountiful baby's lip nail and blush any deeper red i'm using crimson 01 from bountiful baby I'm going to need a liner brush to do the creasing, a flat shader brush to mix the paint, and my blending brushes. I'm also going to need my thinner, and don't forget to grab your cosmetic wedges as well. You're going to need a palette to mix your paint in. I have a ceramic flower dish. Mix your colors until you achieve a color similar to this, a nice red-purple maroon color. Consistency should be not too thin, but not too thick. Here's a swatch on my white pee pad, for example. Remember, you don't want the paint to be running, but you don't want it to be too thick to where you can't blend. I'm starting inside the ear with my mixing brush, shading only the areas I want to see depth. And then I'm taking my blending brushes and cosmetic wedge to blend it out. I just want to quickly apologize for any time I go out of frame or the camera goes out of focus during this series. I'm still getting used to this setup and figuring out my placement and I don't have a viewfinder so I can't see what the camera sees so I just take my guess. But here's the finished ear after it's all complete with the first round of creasing. As you can see, it's quite a difference. Now I'm moving into my liner brush to get into the fine detailing. Remember to drag your brush over the edge of the bowl to remove any excess paint. For these, I just follow along the creases and use my blending tools to blend out. Next, I move on to the nose and the lips, followed by the rest of the creases on the head. This is out of focus, but I'm just going over all the tiny creases that are on the lips. I know this is so tedious, but these are the small details that'll make your work great. Next I like to move on to the hands. I'm using a very fine brush for this and I'm using gentle strokes. You don't want to clog the creases with paint. You want to easily blend them out. Watch here how when I go to blend these creases, I move the paint through the crease to blend it out. That is the right consistency you should have. And here is half the hand complete. Let's see the finished results. Wow, look at that guys. So much depth, so much dimension. This process seriously makes such a difference. Just look at the before and after of the two arms and the two hands. I move on to the feet and legs. So here's half the foot done and boom, look at that fully completed leg and foot. As you can see, these real born kits have so many creases in the feet. 
but those small details make a difference. And that is how you crease your reborn, guys. Like I said, this is such an important step. It adds so much realism and life into the dolls. It creates so much depth. And I really like to do this first if you don't have to neutralize, of course, so I can really see what I'm working with. Like I said, this is the first layer. I typically like to do a second layer later towards the end. And remember not to pack those creases with paint. And that's it. I hope you guys liked today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not and stay tuned for the next part. I hope you were able to learn something today and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!